At only 19 years of age, Sabrina has already suffered a mild heart attack due to a severe eating disorder that started at the age of eight, plus a subsequent addiction to heroin. Her mom, Melissa, is scared for her life and has been desperate to find her help. They are both joining us now. And Sabrina, first thing I want to just say to you is thank you for bravely coming here. I know you're scared. I know it's been a really long road. Do you realize now, after all these years of struggling with the eating disorder, your addiction to heroin, do you, do you understand now where you're at in terms of what it's doing to your body? Yeah, I definitely understand. Since I heard about the heart attack, it definitely made me like get into reality because it's scary and it does make me scared that I'm gonna die. I wanna ask you, when was the last time that you used heroin? Three days ago. And do you have a dealer that you regularly get it from? Do you have friends that you use it with? Um, I have a dealer I get it from. I don't really have friends I do it with or anything. Um, but yeah. I wanna ask you also about when you try to sit down and eat a meal, walk us through or explain what, what happens. Well, I'm usually never hungry, so first just deciding what to eat is a battle because none of it sounds good. And then when I finally decide what to eat and I start eating it, it tastes like cardboard and it's hard to swallow, it's hard to chew, it's like, feels like it's really dry. I usually have to like swallow it with water or else I can't swallow it. I'll just gag it back up when it hits my throat. And I'm in immense pain while my food's processing. It's, it feels like something's like, there's a washcloth inside there and it's just twisting it out. Would it be fair to, to say the only substance your body is consistently getting would be heroin? Yes. It started with I had the eating disorder and I tried heroin. It, I mean, obviously the first time I tried it, I tried it just for fun, whatever, but it took the pain away. And then it was just kind of something that I wanted to chase that high every time I was in pain. And now that the pain is constant, I'm just always chasing that high. It kind of snowballed into an addiction somewhere along the line. What I see when I look at you and I look in your eyes is I see a beautiful, young woman with so much potential. But then when I think about what's going on inside of your body, it breaks my heart because I know your body is broken and I know emotionally you're broken. But I also, I do, I see, I see hope in your eyes because otherwise you wouldn't be here today, would you? No, I wouldn't be here if I weren't ready for help. I mean. I am scared, and I do need the help, so I'm ready for it. And you know that every single person here is rooting for you. More Sabrina Melissa after the break.